Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Kai here from Tic Tac Toe. Today, I am going to share with you a little hack on how you can use a USB mic together with your Rodecaster Pro. So if you are someone like me, someone who had a USB mic long before you had a Rodecaster Pro, you would find that you cannot use a USB mic together with your expensive yet versatile Rodecaster Pro. Now some of you might get frustrated, some might be pulling your hair and thinking what an absolute disastrous decision you have made purchasing a Rodecaster Pro and then finding out that you cannot connect your USB mic to it. Essentially. The Rodecaster Pro takes in multiple inputs, which includes four XLR cables, one TRRS cable, one Bluetooth input, and of course, it can also play your sound pads on the right side of the Rodecaster Pro and a USB port. Can you connect your USB mic directly to your Rodecaster Pro? The answer is yes, technically, but nothing will happen. Now, there is a hack that you can exploit. You need a DAW or a digital audio workspace that enables you to monitor your own voice. An example of this would be the free GarageBand or the free Audacity. And if you are subscribed to softwares like Adobe Audition, it will work too. Now let me show you how this can be done. I'll be showing two examples using firstly Audacity and then secondly Adobe Audition. Right, of course, firstly, you need to prepare your USB mic, have it plugged in already to your PC or your Mac. Next, power up Audacity. All right, so I've powered up Audacity. This is a free software, by the way. I'll put the link down below at the description box on how you can download this. And this is quite an awesome beginner's audio software. So what do you need to do first? Go to edit. Go to preference because you want to set some devices properly. And on this left tab over here, go to devices and playback. You set it to your Rodecaster Pro. This is very important. Next, your recording device. You choose your USB mic. So for this instance, I'm going to use the Audio Technica uh, AT2020 USB Plus. This is a USB condenser mic. I'm going to choose that as my recording input. Next, you have to go to recording make sure these two box are checked number one is this one play other tracks while recording secondly software playthrough of input make sure those two box are checked once you are done with that just hit okay you will see the main page of audacity again so just hit over here the one that says click to start monitoring it's like a level bar so just click on it and now you can hear your voice if you were to speak into your USB mic. All right, so what's going to happen right now is I am going to talk into the USB mic, which is already going to be routed to the Rodecaster Pro, and I'm going to record my voice on the Rodecaster Pro. All right, let me just put this away, and I am starting the recording. Hello, hello, hello. So what you guys are hearing right now is me talking into the USB mic, which is routed to Audacity because I have my voice monitoring turned on, which is already being picked up by the Rodecaster Pro from the USB port. So that's the idea. You plug the USB mic into your PC and then you turn on Audacity turn on the voice monitoring so it can be picked up via the USB port of the Rodecaster Pro. And that's the hack. Very simple. All right, so now I'm going to show you how you can do this on the Adobe Premiere Pro. So now I have powered on Adobe Audition. What you need to do is, of course, to first set your hardware. So you go to Edit, Preference and Audio Hardware. So now you want to set your input device to your USB mic, which in this instance is my Audio Technica 2020 USB. And then the main output or default output would be your Rodecaster Pro. So once you've got these two things going, click OK. Now you want to go to multi-track. Just name it as a random uh, file name and then just save it to whichever file or folder Okay, this is a little bit tricky. 
first you need to assign your mic on track 1. So go to track 1, over here, default stereo input, click on it, choose stereo and then your USB mic. The rest of the tracks, you can just forget about it. Also, you need to arm this track by hitting R and then I. So what's happening is, if you are speaking directly into your, uh, your USB mic, you can see the levels over here going up and down. All right, that means it is working. The rest of the tracks, if you want it, you can just delete it away. How do you do that? You go to multi-track, you go to tracks, and then you delete empty tracks. The master, of course, cannot be deleted because it's always going to be there. So now let's test it out. So right now, I'm still speaking into the XLR mic, which is connected to the Rodecaster Pro. This is not the USB mic. This is the USB mic. All right, so I'm just going to hit record button on the Rodecaster Pro and then switch on to the USB mic and go. All right, so what you are hearing right now is me talking into the USB mic, which is the Audio Technica 2020, which is plugged directly to the PC and routed on the Adobe Audition because I've turned on my audio monitoring and then it is routed back into the Rodecaster Pro via the USB. So the concept is similar to what we have done on Audacity. It works very well. I can hear myself right now. So that is a very simple hack that you can do to make sure that you can use your USB mic uh, together with your Rodecaster Pro. Yes, of course, there is a little bit of technicality that you need to you know, shift here and there and click here and there, but it is a very good way to make sure that your USB mic is not wasted. I mean, if you have tons of these, rather than you have tons of XLR mics, then it's not going to be wasteful. So yes, the entire idea is just to have your DAW on and as long as you can enable the voice monitoring feature on your DAW, you can have these kind of things running. Uh, yes, there will be a slight input lag by probably like half a millisecond, but it's not going to be a deal breaker. It's just that everyone hears that 0.5 milliseconds later uh, than what they are usually used to listening without any input lag. I think it's a small cost to pay. So all right guys, that's it. I hope you have found this video fulfilling, uh, gives you a little bit of leeway on how you can use a USB mic together with your Rodecaster Pro. And as usual guys, if you enjoyed this video, do hit the like button. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification button to be notified on a future video that we might post. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.